Welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you guys can see, I'm back here at Shooters in Fort Myers, Florida, about to do the review of another Ruger. I'm surprised that I haven't reviewed this Ruger before, honestly, because it's a pretty popular model for uh, concealed carry. This is the EC9S. Check this little thing out. Now it's chambered in uh, nine millimeter, seven capacity, seven plus one, uh, seven in the magazine and plus one in the chamber, 3.1 inch barrel. Let's uh, do some shooting and see what this thing can do. Now, uh, 3.1 inch barrel for a nine millimeter, definitely gonna feel some recoil. Now today I'll be shooting the uh, nine millimeter from Fiocchi. Uh, 124 grains, so uh, we'll see. Definitely expecting uh, some recoil, 3.1 inch barrel, but uh, we'll see what this thing can do. Now, the magazine itself is super easy to load because it's single stack. Usually that's the case with the single stack magazines. Yes, you are compromising on uh, some additional rounds in your magazine, but such an ease to load, check this out. And uh, as you can see, it's very nicely numbered all the way up to seven on both sides. So uh, you will never, even when you're talking while loading the magazine like I do, you'll never confuse how many rounds you have. There you go, five rounds. Okay, so as you can see on the target over there, there is uh, this little orange up here that has not been touched yet. You see somebody attempt it, but they failed to successfully touch it. <laughs> Let's see if I can change that with this little thing right here, okay. Huh, surprisingly not that hard to rack for a you know, 3.1 inch barrel. I would expect a little heavier, a little heavier guide rod, spring in a guide rod. Let's see, let's see what this thing can do. Wow, almost bullseye. Not too shabby. So, I have to say, the recoil is not that bad, but if you do let it loose, if you do relax a little bit like I did on the second shot, <laughs> definitely kicks. But if you concentrate and if you, if you practice it with it on the range, you're definitely gonna be fine with it. But let's start from the very beginning. I'm gonna actually uh, start talking about the grip with the magazine in. Usually it doesn't matter, but this time I will because as you can see, mag over here has the pinky extension which makes a huge difference because without it without it your pinky is going to be hanging around but with this pinky extension how you have the full grip i mean i have small hands keep that in mind but you do still have a better grip than without the pinky extension so i'm going to mention it here okay so we have our uh, very kind of a standard stippling to older uh, Ruger models. Not bad, not too aggressive, but still plenty of aggression to get a good kind of a bite into your palm. Now these sides are super smooth, super slippery. You have a little bit here at the back. You have a little bit here at the front. Uh, nothing on the trigger guard, it's just smooth. I kind of wish that there was a little bit of aggression here at the front in case if you have bigger hands. Sometimes it helps on the smaller concealed carry size guns to just get a grip like this sometimes for some people it doesn't work for some it does but not bad now we are moving on to our uh, mag release over here as you can see this little round thing right here it's not ambidextrous but it's very easy to catch and I do like the fact that once you press it the mag just flies out of there which kind of helps for a quick mag exchange if you need to do that <laughs> It's all that stuff flying around. Now, moving further, we are getting into the slide. As you can see, there are serrations at the back of the slide, nothing at the front. So if you're that type of person, whatever, this, this is for this type of people. Uh, surprisingly, I wouldn't say necessarily easy to rack this gun, but I expected a little bit of a heavier spring on the, on the guide rod just because, you know, it's, it's, it's 3.1 inch barrel. So usually whenever it comes to compact guns like this, borderline micro compact usually micro compact is like 2.9 2.7 inch barrel but whenever it comes to small guns like this usually manufacturers implement heavier springs on the guide rod just so that you have a better recoil management because without a heavier spring you have that thing flying around here 
I think Ruger did a good job finding the balance between the weight of the spring and at the same time, you know, not making it too heavy, you know, for, for people to not to struggle with racking this gun. Obviously these aggressive serrations at the back, they definitely do help. Now you probably notice the uh, manual safety switch over here. Uh, very, uh, I mean, I can't really say very good because I'm not really a, like, I don't have guns, handguns, I don't have guns with the safety, with the manual safety. But if you do prefer to have a manual safety switch on your handgun, this one is good. This one is very intuitive because I want to point something out. You engage it up. So this is disengaged. You engage it up and it's, it's, it's not as easy to engage, which is, it is how it's supposed to be. But on the, on the correct, side on the plus side it's very easy to disengage and it's down so it's very good so in case what i mean by that when you are drawing your handgun right you're gonna have for the most part automatically you're gonna have your thumb laying on this safety manual safety switch and because it is down just by laying your thumb over the safety switch you automatically intuitively disengage it and definitely a huge plus that's how you want it you don't want the safety switch that engages that disengages up then it would make sense but hopefully you get the point but let's move on further to the slide release the slide release here is this little tiny notch which is not more of a slide release more of a slide stop as you can see very little thing but uh, it's not one hand operation you have to have both hands to kind of give it but you know what let me check something because on some handguns Sometimes, sometimes when you do have a round in the magazine, it becomes a one-hand operation. No, not in this case. Okay, so not, not in this case. Sometimes, but not this time. So let's do some uh, five more rounds. And uh, I'll try to do a little bit better job on that orange. Looks like I did hit it twice, but let's see if I can hit it. Five out of five. Gonna have a pull. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. All right. So, yeah, not to shed. All right. Shooting a little bit low. Let's talk about the sides. That brings me to the sides. Now, the sides. I would say these sides would be hit or miss, hit or miss for some people. I personally like them, but I know some people are not gonna like them. Check them out. They're not three dot, they're just three post sides and maybe my camera will decide to focus one of these days, sometime this month, maybe perhaps. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, there is no dots, there's no markings on the side. It's just literally just regular black three post sides. There's a rear and there's the front. Now, I like sides like this because they don't have any distractions. They don't have any markings because sometimes when you, especially if you're acquiring the target pretty quick, if you're quick draw, you know, point shooting, stuff like this, Sometimes with those markings, your brain gets a little bit confused and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm concentrating on the markings, but because I'm quick, I'm concentrating on the posts, which is what you should be concentrating on. But because you have markings, sometimes you concentrate more on the markings and your shooting becomes a little bit off, if that makes sense. Especially the case with fiber optic sites, which I do love, don't get me wrong, but sometimes they get you off. This right here is as simple, as straightforward as possible. All you're doing is you're aligning these posts and that's really it there's no markings there's no distractions some people might like it but i would say in uh compact micro pop compact borderline micro compact guns like this uh, if you they're designed for concealed carry so in concealed carry you know combat situations surround situations something bad happens for the most part you will be point shooting and in point shooting markings do work bad, better because you have that quick target acquisition with that whether it's fiber optic or, or some kind of bright little dot at the front, makes it a little bit easier compared to something like this. Again, point shooting, if you're good enough, it really doesn't matter, but some people 
That's why I said might not like it. Keep that in mind if that's you. Okay, so let's talk about the trigger now. We got a uh, very interesting trigger. We have this, uh, and let's see if my camera decides to uh, sometime this year to focus. I'm not sure what's, what's happening. Usually it's pretty quick on uh, focusing on stuff, but we have this uh, pre-trigger over here. It's, uh, there you go. Okay, that's much better. So pre-trigger, kind of like a safe action system on the Glock. Drop safety, if you drop the gun, it's not gonna automatically fire, but you you have it and I do like it for, uh, the just for the fact that it's kind of like tells you that you have a finger on the trigger without having a finger on the trigger yet. All right, but once you do have the finger on the trigger, you have this much travel, which is about four, maybe five millimeters, as you can see, very long, nothing crazy, very familiar to travel. You know that the gun is not gonna fire, so you don't really worry about that. But once you get to this point, now we're getting into the unknown territory with this little right here, as you can see. And that doesn't feel safe at all. That's kind of mushy and then keeps going and keeps going and there's more and then there's more and more and then you're like, come on, man. Come on, okay, there we go. <laughs> so let me do this again. A little bit unpredictable trigger. It will definitely take some time for you to get used to. Familiar. Unfamiliar, keeps going and going and, and then snap. Not a bad trigger, don't get me wrong. Especially for a compact concealed carry gun, you don't want a trigger that is super snappy, super crisp, super quick, super light, all right? That's the kind of trigger that is mushy trigger, okay? Some people do like this kind of trigger. If you're that type of person, that's fine. Personally, I prefer the trigger that is a little bit more predictable, but again, it comes down to the preference. So let's uh, finish up this review with some five more rounds. I'm gonna do some more shooting. See if I, uh, you know what? I'll try to hit the flappy pedals and embarrass myself at the end of this review because I'll probably not gonna hit it once because this is compact and I'm not really great at compacts. Okay, so flappy pedal. I'll shoot at the, these two orange. Um, See if I can hit at least once. All right. Wow. I hit it. <laughs> I did hit it. it. Didn't turn though. Let's see if I can turn it. All right. Five. <laughs> I'm impressed with my own shoes. Okay, so overall, I have to say, oh, by the way, check this out. You don't see barrels like this very often. Yeah, now that right there is worth buying this gun for. Okay, let's try to come up with reasonable conclusion, even though there's not a lot of reasonable stuff. Uh, by the way, the disassembly, I don't, you know what, let me uh, see if I can figure out, let's see how easy it is to disassemble this gun. So there is this lever that goes down right here. Uh, I have no idea how to disassemble this, I've never disassembled it before. Let's see if I can, uh, ooh, I think I see it. So there is this notch, and down, up, out. So yeah, I actually have to do a research on this, how to disassemble it. But overall, I do like this gun. I have to say, I am mostly I am impressed with uh, how light, even though it's not light spring, but it is still lighter than I expected. And at the same time, handling the recoil is pretty good. My biggest complaint would be the trigger, a little bit too mushy, but again, that's my personal complaint. For some people, they do prefer triggers like this 
for their concealed carry options. But I do have to say as a concealed carry option, that is a very good option. After all, it's a chambered in uh, nine millimeter. Seven rounds on a magazine is not bad at all. You can carry one in a chamber, no problem, especially knowing that you do have a manual safety switch if that's what you, that's the kind of stuff that you're into. One of the things that you probably need to keep in mind if you are planning to buy this gun is the sights. Make sure that you like them. Make sure that you're okay with how easy or hard for you it is to rack this gun but on the plus side because it is single stack check out how slim it is i mean you can conceal carry this gun is super easy super easy but thank you very much guys for watching let me know in the comments below guys what do you think about this review what do you think about this gun if you have any requests for reviews drop them in the comments below and i will be happy to address them thank you very much guys again for watching this is farms of america god bless you all and i'll see you all in the next video